So my name is Adele Truman, I'm a radiographer here at Nuffield Health. I've worked in CT and MR for the last 15 years. I wanted to work with people, I'm a people person and um, radiography kind of ticked the right boxes for me. It was involved in uh, dealing with the general public, uh, patients, also patients in a vulnerable position. So an x-ray in its most simple form is a little bit like if you imagine you were out in a rainstorm and wherever your hand was there would be a, a gap. Essentially there would be a shadow of your hand on the paving stone. The x-rays go through the patient and wherever the body has absorbed some of the x-radiation then there will be a gap on the detector below. In the old days it would have been a, a film. So people may come for uh, an x-ray because they've broken a bone in the past, had a fractured bone, or if people are thinking of moving to a, a different country then a lot of the stipulations for a visa may be that they have to have a chest x-ray. In CT it's a little bit more advanced, instead of there just being one paving slab, there are lots and lots of them, so they will build up a slice picture if you like, because the x-ray machine actually rotates, revolves around the patient as the patient goes through much more complex and it's a little bit like um, a bacon slice image so it's a slice picture, an axial slice picture through the patient's body. Certainly when it comes to CT over the last five years not only have we been achieving the images uh, much quicker and um, improving the detail on the pictures but we've also been achieving those images at a much reduced radiation dose. So people often associate a CT scan with the cancer scan. Nobody wants that cancer diagnosis, but obviously if you can diagnose these things sooner, then they can be treated sooner and then hopefully they have a more positive outcome and the prognosis is better. MR doesn't use x-rays at all. It uses radio waves and a magnet to make the pictures and lots of um, complicated physics. The MR scanning suite is a controlled environment, the magnet is always on, so whether you're a patient or a visitor or a member of staff, you always have to remember uh, never to wear anything metallic in your pockets. MR's a really good diagnostic tool, not only will it supplement a CT findings, but it will also be a really good tool for looking at the soft tissues in the joints, for example, shoulders, knees, feet and elbows. Um, it's also really good for looking at neuroanatomy of the lumbar spine, so the nerves that come from the lumbar spine, lots of people have a bad back, and also uh, for the brain as well. Often the patients when they arrive they're really um, anxious not only about having the scan but also about the results. A lot of the, uh, the fear of the actual examination is based on uh, the unknown. Then we need to explain to the patient that as part of our uh, professionalism we have to um, make sure that we're achieving the image with the dose as low as reasonably achievable. It's a bit like an art form really, you know, somebody will step back and have a look at their pictures uh, that they've painted, you know, like a masterpiece. Well, I'm quite happy when I can see that I've produced a really good diagnostic image.